my name is Kai, and today we'll be doing Su Long. Su Long is a two-phase encounter, and you always start in the night phase with Su Long Hostel. During the night, he has three major abilities. The first is Shadow Breath. It's a regular frontal dragon breath cone. Uh, being hit by Shadow Breath deals massive damage and also increases shadow damage taken by 100% for 30 seconds per stack. Tanks should switch at every stack of Shadow Breath. Next is Dread Shadows. Dread Shadows is a debuff that stacks on the entire raid continuously throughout the night phase. Each application of Dread Shadows deals shadow damage and increases your damage taken by 10% per stack. To counter Dread Shadows, you want to step into the yellow beam of light to remove all stacks. The longer you spend in the beam of light, the smaller it gets until it disappears. So you only want to dip yourself quickly into the beam, drop your stacks, and then get back out. Otherwise, you will consume the beam and other people will not be able to drop their stacks. Lastly in the night phase is Nightmares. It's a purple circle placed underneath a, the location of a random raid member. It deals a large amount of shadow damage if you step in it, and it also fears you. Uh, don't stand in the purple stuff. After two minutes of dodging shadowy goodness, Su Long will go into the day phase. During the day phase, Su Long is friendly, and you'll focus on healing him rather than damaging him. He'll still have a frontal breath, but it will no longer do damage to players. Instead, it will give you a buff to resource regeneration and instantly kill any mobs hit by it. What mobs, you say? Well, Sha will begin to spawn around the room. There are three types of ads. The first are the large ads, Embodied Terrors. They place a dispellable debuff called Terrorize on a random raid member and on Su Long himself. When cast on a player, Terrorize damages the player for 20% of their health each second for 10 seconds. When cast on Su Long, Terrorize damages him for 2% of his total health every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. It's really important to dispel Terrorize. Uh, Su Long first, players second. Medium-sized adds will spawn at three spawn points around the room. These are called Unstable Sha, and they will march towards Su Long until they strike him and explode for a large amount of his health. You'll need to assign three DPS to slow and kill the adds before they reach Su Long. These adds have multiple spawn points. Split the room into thirds and give each player a quadrant. Sometimes you'll have adds spawn two in one quadrant, none in another, and one in another. A player who has no adds should go to the player who has two. Unstable Shahs also cast Unstable Bolt at a random raid member as they're moving towards Su Long. If you can interrupt this, do. The final type of ad in the day phase are called Fright Spawns. They're small ads that spawn when the large ads are killed. There are five small ads for every one large ad killed. They cast Fright, which is an AoE fear and damage in a cone in front of them. Uh, it's important for all other DPS who are not on moving adds to DPS down the Fright spawns as quickly as possible. Uh, the best practice is to attempt to kill the large adds right before Su Long does a Sun Breath and use his Sun Breath to kill all of the small adds. After two minutes, we re-enter the night phase. It is exactly like the first night phase. You will use the sunbeams to drop your stacks. Uh, it's good to drop these at about nine. Um, that's where DBM will alert you, and that's really a, a pretty healthy time. You shouldn't let it get to be more than like 10. Uh, you will not stand in purple circles. They fear you, they do. And you will not get plowed by Su Long's breath, unless you're a tank, and then you'll only get hit one time, at which point you will switch with your tank uh, buddy. And once again, after two minutes, we will re-enter the day phase, which is exactly like the first day phase. The large ads, the embodied terrors, always spawn first. You'll have one big ad pop up, uh, probably right around the time he dies. That's when your unstable shahs will start to form. Your three uh, unstable DPS can actually help kill the first uh, embodied terror. Depending on the DPS who you have on Unstable Shot, you can slow them and kite them, or you can just burn them down, or you can do both, depending on your DPS and cooldown needs. Um, I tried using different pets on, on different times I do this. Having a pet with a knockback or a stun really helps. Using your player stuns and slows, your concussive shots and stuff are really helpful because you cannot let the Shah hit Su Long. They do a lot of damage to him and your healers will hate your face forever. 
For your healers and your DPS who are in melee with the fright spawns, you really want to be hit by every one of Su Long's sun breaths if possible. Uh, the, the regen bonus it gives you, especially for healers who are spamming heals on Su Long, it is super duper helpful. So do uh, get breathed on. And if you can use that breath to kill adds, unstable, sha, or um, fright spawns or embodied terrors even, uh, do that. It saves you a lot of DPS and it's super cool. Now this second sun phase is important because it is your last phase. This is how the enrage timer on Su Long works. You get two of each phase. You get to go night, day, night, day, and then you're done. He'll berserk and kill you all instantly if you do not finish healing him in this day phase. This is not a super difficult fight. It's an enjoyable fight. It's fun. You'll like it. So get in there, get to it, punch the shot of this dragon, and have a good time. Thanks for watching my video. My name is Kai, and happy looting! Hello! Thank you for watching today's video. I have some exciting news. Uh, I have purchased a couple of the WoW trading card game loot card uh, pet cards. I don't know how to say that. If you would like a chance to win a free loot card uh, pet, leave a comment on any one of my videos. Comment. Uh, it can be anything. Comment about the video. Comment, oh, we a pet. Um, if you subscribe, or comment to, well, subscribe to my channel or comment on any of my videos. I will choose um, random people. We're going to put names in the hat and we will draw them to win pets. You don't have to have a World of Warcraft account, but I, I would hope that you do. Um, I will either send you the codes through YouTube or I can send them to through WoW if you want, or email, that's up to you. We're waiting for the cards to come in the mail, because we actually bought cards. So, it'll be in the next video or so, uh, we will do the drawing. So please start subscribing if you haven't subscribed, uh, comment the videos. I keep wanting to say like, but that doesn't... To subscribe or comment to get yourself in the drawing and it will be fun. Bah. Okay, if you, let's try it again.